Hey everybody, uh, I'm going to show you how I install two 6 volt batteries into my travel trailer. I have a Century battery box, and over the winter I keep a 12 volt battery installed so I can keep my trailer plugged in and I keep my 6 volt battery safe and maintained over the winter inside. So, first I remove the negative lead, and I also have a battery disconnect. I'm just going to turn off as well. Once I have the negative lead uh, removed and pulled out of the way, then I go ahead and disconnect my positive lead. With the lead safely out of the way, I can pull the battery out. And I can grab my 6 volt batteries, which need a special strap to lift them in. So when I install my batteries, I need to install this one on the left first. So I've got to slide it under to the left underneath my battery disconnect. Otherwise, if I started with the battery on the right, I wouldn't be able to fit this one in. And I've got my negative posts closest to the travel trailer. So the negative lead from my solar charge controller can reach. And when I put my next battery in, I have it so the positive lead is closest to the travel trailer. So that way the positive leads from the trailer and my solar charge controller can reach that post. Before I connect the rest of the leads, I need to connect the batteries in series. So I already had it connected to the positive post, and I take that lead and I connect it to the positive post on the other battery to create a series. And I use my 13 millimeter wrench to tighten the nut, but I make sure not to over tighten so I don't break the post, damage the battery. Once I've got that in place, I can connect my battery disconnect lead to the negative post. As well as connecting my lead from my solar charge controller to that negative post as well. And for some reason, this nut is a 14 millimeter nut different than all the others. So I use my 14 millimeter wrench to tighten it. Now I can go ahead and connect my positive leads to the battery on the right. And that's my positive lead from the travel trailer electrical system as well as the positive lead from my charge controller, my solar charge controller.
And once again, I tighten this nut, ensuring that I o don't over tighten it. So now that the batteries are hooked up, I can now plug in my battery disconnect key, turn the power to the trailer, turn it on, this only disconnects the power to the trailer, not to my solar charge controller. But I'm going to check my solar charge controller to make sure I've got power going to it now that I've hooked up the batteries. I've got power. Now I'm just going to check to make sure I've got power to the rest of the trailer. I'll just flick on a light. I've got power. Now I just have to put the cover back on the box, and I'm all set for the season. Thanks for watching.